Welcome students, today we are going to start a new topic accounting standards. This is the last topic in chapter number 2. Let us begin. First point, generally accepted accounting principles which give alternatives which are accepted by accounting profession to achieve uniformity and comparability. This means, kafi sare alternatives hain hamare paas, jisse hum uniformity or comparability achieve kar sakte hain. What is the main aim? The main aim is to increase the utility of the accounting statements for various users. Agar uniformity or comparability hogi, tabhi to logon ke kaam aayenge wo standards. Now, if there are more treatments, variety of alternative treatments, this is going to create confusion in the mind of the users also. Ek hi cheez ke kai tarikhe, confusion. So, in order to bring uniformity, comparability and consistency, ICAI, Institute of Chartered Accountant of India has constituted an accounting standard board which give due consideration to all the relevant international accounting standards and other bodies, so that we can make some standards which are applicable to all the business organizations. Now, how the AS emerges or how it starts? The process starts with accounting standard board identifying those areas where we require uniformity and then they develop a draft, draft accounting standards. After discussion with government representatives, public sector undertakings that is PSU and other related parties. After the discussion and making the draft, they submit it to the council of ICAI. The council is an elected body. So, the council of ICAI then notify it and apply it that these standards will be applicable from now onwards. And we also make periodic reviews from time to time to incorporate the new developments and changes coming in the business field and the new international environment also. Let us see the definition of accounting standards. Accounting standards are the written statements of uniform accounting rules and guidelines. That is those rules and guidelines which are uniformly applicable for everybody. These are called standards to be achieved, to be followed. These standards are made for consistent financial information and other disclosures required for the users. But one thing is to be noted that these standards cannot override the statute that is law. If law is there, it is supreme. Standards can only explain or they can recommend, but they cannot override the law which is existing in the state. In the initial years, when standards are made, they are only recommendatory in nature. That is the institute wants, you should try to follow it. After some time, persuasion by ICA is there, ki please adopt, so that uniformity can be achieved. So, first recommendatory, then persuasion and then what? And then once awareness is created, steps for its enforcement and compliance are made. If there is a non-compliance, the organization has to disclose the reason for deviations and if possible, they have to disclose the financial effect of the deviations also. Suppose, somebody is not following a particular standard, he must explain why they are not following and if they are not following, what is the financial effect of that. So, that the person using the statement 
must be clear in his mind that this particular organization is not doing this standard. So, I must take the results with that particular thing in mind and I must take the decision basis on that. So, accounting standard deals with four things. First, they recognize the transaction and events which are to be recorded in the books of account. Then measurement of these transaction and events, how do we measure them? Third, the presentation of these transaction and events, how they are to be presented in the books of account and the last one and very important one disclosure requirement that is you must tell what has to be disclosed in the books, how it has to be disclosed in the books. Let us do some questions to see whether we have understood the topic. First question, accounting standards in India are issued by first central government, second state government, third ICI or fourth reserve bank of India. Yes, it is a simple one ICAI. Let us do the next one. It is essential to standardize the accounting principles and policies to ensure first transparency, second consistency, third comparability or all of the above. Why do we standardize the principles? Transparency means Pardarshita, consistency ek jaisa principle follow karna, comparability sub company ki business information ko compare kar sakna. I think the answer is all of the above because we are making the standards for all these three things. I ek aur question dekhte hai. accounting standards first harmonize accounting policies. Harmonize means ek jaisi mala mein guth jana, ek jaisa lagna, accounting policies ko ek line mein jod dena. Second, eliminate non comparability, yani non comparability ko khatam karna aur comparison ko increase karna. Third point, improve reliability, vishwasniyata ko badhana aur fourth, all of the above natural all of the above kyunki we are doing all these three things in accounting standards. Let us do one more. Let us revise the previous one. Debiting the capital account for drawing of proprietor is a concept of yani agar drawing kar raha hai proprietor aur hum debit kar raha hai capital which is the concept first going concern, entity concept, money measurement concept or accounting period concept. No, it is not money measurement, it is not going concern, yes it is separate entity concept because business is different from proprietor. So, whenever he is going to withdraw the money, we will debit his capital as withdrawal and it is because business is different businessman is different right. So, students what we have discussed in chapter number 2 is about gap generally accepted accounting principles, various concepts and conventions which are to be followed in accounting. In the next section we have revised system of accounting, basis of accounting and accounting standards that is cash basis accrual basis, double entry, single entry and why do we make accounting standards, who makes them, we have to follow them to make our accounts look like satisfactory and comparable. So, these things you must revise and theory is very important you know for the coming chapters in which we will be doing practicals also. In the next class, we will be doing chapter number 3. Till then, goodbye. Thank you very much.